Can New York City teenagers solve a problem that has left the United Nations floundering? Experts say Syria's violent regime is on the brink of collapse, but that has come at the cost of tens of thousands of lives. Just today, hundreds of people died in attacks across the country, including this attack on a bus in Homs. As education reporter Art McFarlane reports, the crisis is a violent civics lesson for students taking part in a unique summer program. The idea was to role play as members of the United Nations Security Council debating the crisis in Syria with delegates from Britain and France. We are willing to provide military assistance to the Syrian rebels uh, if they follow and meet certain conditions. Or from Russia and China. We are totally against the West's support of regime change in what used to be a relatively stable country. It was part of a three-week program hosted by the Council for Foreign Relations in partnership with Global Kids. Global Kids is a nonprofit organization that is developing global citizens and community leaders. Their positions for the debate were based on research. Pretend Iranians were allowed to speak. We acknowledge that there might be some minor violence going on in Syria today but we stand by the decisions of the Syrian government. But the violence in Syria is very real to the students. Everyone should care about this stuff, and there are people who don't, and the fact that there are people who don't is very disturbing. When these students return to their schools this fall, they will be expected to lead discussion groups on issues of their choice and then report back to the Global Kids Organization on the results. I usually expect them to have a solid grasp of their stake in these issues, um, how the, the topics that we cover impact them in their daily lives. Global Kids works with students in their schools during the school year. A new group will be invited to this program next summer. Art McFarland, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.